So the city of Edmonton wants to have no traffic collisions. Hey, that's a good idea. We all want no traffic collisions. Part of the way they're going to do this is by they're looking at ramping up photo radar enforcement. Well, do they have the public trust to do that? We've already had some major problems with photo radar, and I think those problems, those questions that people have in photo radar are justified. In 2012, the police used to run our photo radar. The city took over in 2013. All of a sudden, photo radar enforcement went up drastically. In, for instance, in 2012, there was 3,200 photo radar tickets from between 6 and 10 kmh. By 2014, that went to 66,500. More than 2,000% increase after the city took over in those kinds of low threshold tickets. What happened there? The city, the police used to, their general guideline was 15 kmh and over, you'd get a ticket. Below that, you usually wouldn't. The city dropped that to 10 kmh. Revenue, net revenue went from 13.4 million a year to 34.5 million a year. They got $21 million more a year in revenue. That's like a 2% increase in taxes, but they didn't do that through the front door. With a big debate, city council, they did it secretly with an unannounced photo radar crackdown. Did traffic accidents go down a lot with this big crackdown in photo radar? No, they did not. So it didn't really increase safety. What it did was increase revenue. I think if the public is going to trust the city to run this program, the fox has to get out of the hen house. They have to give this program back to the police, let the police run this, not have city bureaucrats run this. Because right now it's looking a bit too much like a cash grab instead of a focus on safety.